Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I've come for a walk today and basically I'm going to be flying the DJI Mini 2. Um, I was planning to do some Mini 1 footage, um, but since there's been a few reports of the app crashing um, and poor range, and I want to do a little uh, bits, I want to do a couple of little bits and pieces, just sort of looking at the new compass in a bit more detail, where I've got some more time. Um, so I'm just going to fly it now, we're in a nice little location, you might have been able to see some uh, boats behind me. Um, so yeah, walking on an incredibly muddy path. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, Mini 2 up in the air and I'm just going to have a quick look and uh, just check the battery life as well. So the battery life is apparently quite depleted or these are comments that have uh, come from you guys the you know the viewers to my videos that you've asked me to go out and check these things so we're going to check check out the new compass check out the battery life and check out the signal so of course i'm flying it in an area that i've done before and flown and we've got very very light conditions as well so i wouldn't really expect much uh wind resistance or any wind warnings today but anyway let's get it up in the air and see what happens Right then, so obviously we're sat in front of a boat now, so I'm going to start the props, get it in the air. And then click to start. So we don't have much bad wind today. So we're going to get some height. So we're going to lock in that exposure because it's a nice day today. Right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the new compass and you can see there we are. So, first, straight away, I will tell you. Let's have a look. Right, so. Right then. I'm just checking that compass down at the bottom. So, if you look at the blue dot, that shows which way you're facing. Now, I can guarantee you, if obviously I had the ability with another camera with me at the moment, I would show you that that simply is not quite correct. Um, I am actually facing the drone straight up, but that's showing that I'm off to the side. So it looks like the problems I have had previously with the gimbal, I'm oh, sorry, the problems I've had previously with the compass when it was in its previous location, um, it doesn't look that like they're fixed with the new one. Uh, that is fair to say. So this, despite my uh, previous crusade that people will say I've been on, this isn't anything to do with um, the test of the gimbal today. All I'm doing is having a nice little flight just to check signal range. Let's have a quick look. We should be on dual band. We are. And we've got virtually no interference. So I'd expect us to do pretty well. Now, I must stress, this for me is not, and I mean not, a range test, okay? This is me simply having a quick look based on the fact that a lot of people have said they've suffered from poor range. Now, I do understand that it's possibly previously the, you know, the firmware before the one we got um, a couple of days ago. So, I think that firmware was version 1.1.7, and obviously we're on 1.2.0 now. So I have flown in this uh, place before and I think that's important to sort of stress really um, because obviously I know what to expect from this location. So I can guarantee you the compass is slightly off. Now it does look like we're drifting but of course there is a little bit of wind. So don't worry about that. Obviously I have seen in another video, you know, the fact that the, the drone is crabbing slightly but it will do because of course you have wind so as you can see i'm flying straight but i'm having to put slightly you know slight bit of uh, right stick left just to keep it in a straight line but personally i know that there's a little bit of wind so i'm literally not worried or bothered about that whatsoever that is completely normal so for any of you that might be wondering or worrying that the drone is drifting like, as you can see, if I've just let go of the stick, it is drifting, but of course, that's wind. It, 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 it's just wind. You know, look, it stopped. Now the gust has gone. Don't worry about it. So, as a test, see what I'll do? I'll leave it again. There you go. I've got no input on the sticks whatsoever. 
you can see the attitude in the top uh, in the bottom left hand corner so you can see the drone is physically banking into the wind but it is not drifting whatsoever so that answers that one hopefully for you guys So I'm pushing forward, I've got straight stick. Now I, I know that basically the wind is blowing from left to right. So it does stand to reason that obviously if I lift up the stick, it should blow slightly to the right because that's the wind direction. But for me, that's holding quite still. As you can see, just repeating myself now, the attitude in the bottom left corner, you can see the aircraft is banking but that's perfectly normal. And actually, I really, really, really like that feature. Genuinely like that feature. It's nice to know what the drone is actually doing when you're out there. The only thing I will stress is um, that compass doesn't really show the right direction. I flew out straight, so I know where I am. It looks to me like it's pointing a little bit to the left when I know that I'm in a straight line to the drone. So on this flight, everything seems really, really nice and smooth. 1,800 meters. So like I said, this isn't a range test. This is just to see the kind of range and reception we're getting with this new update. Simply based on the fact that we've been advised previously that the last one did have a bit of a battery drain issue and the fact that uh, we've got some signal dropout so we're at 2,000 metres and we dropped one bar on the RC down at the top. But again, nothing that I would think is uh, an issue. Let's check the gimbal. And yes, we're, drive we're going out in a straight line. So 2,300 metres, we're doing well. Keep repeating myself, this isn't a long range test. This is just to check the, re the signal and the reception. And that seems absolutely fine to me, to be perfectly honest. So coming up to those uh, wind turbines. I'm not going to uh, continue much further. Get to that 3,000 metres and then come home. Don't want to run the battery short, especially in these uh, colder conditions. As you can see, we are hitting some houses. So whether that affects range or not, our signal. I'm not flying particularly high. As you're probably aware, the higher you fly, the, the less susceptible to interference you get. So... You know, there is always that sort of tool in your uh, chest. There you go, as expected. So we're just going right, to raise up a little bit. Starting to get a bit of signal drop out now. There you go, it's come back without increased height. I'm going to go a little bit higher. Signal's come back, gimbal seems fine. We've not got any jumping, but like I say, it's not particularly windy today. And we've hit that 3,000 metres, and for me, I don't think there's a problem whatsoever. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to head back. Now, like I say, I like to use the map to come home. And I always have done. So I'm just going to lower that back down. Just don't need to be up that high, because obviously the higher we are, the more wind we're fighting. So I'm just going to bring the drone back and then we'll uh, go for a little conclusion. But either way, I really, really, really do like the new uh, attitude indicator. I like the new compass. I find it quite useful. The blue dot isn't quite as accurate as I think it should be. But overall, I can't really complain with it. So yeah, let's bring the drone back and uh, finish the video. Right everybody, so I've finished my flight and my hands are blue stroke purple. Um, this is definitely not the weather to be doing something like that. So what I'm going to quickly do is just pop on screen now so you can see the wind direction. Um, so basically that is with my phone uh, pointing directly towards the direction of flight. And I think that's important because obviously when you saw that obviously I just want to debunk that little myth that obviously when I let go of the stick and the drone did drift the drone, the bit the wind is is blowing directly in the direction and obviously I did say it in the flight but I just wanted to prove that to you guys as well so cut long story short I mean I've just flown 3,000 meters there 3,000 meters back um, and I did it with a 15 mile an hour gust wind and what is it 9 10 as a standard wind and cut long story short it did it on 60% battery 
that's incredible okay that's probably the be best performance i've ever had to be perfectly honest um with that slight slight crosswind but uh yeah really interesting so hopefully that allays a few of your f sort of fears Obviously, I do these tests to help you guys, the subscribers and viewers of these uh, videos out. So the compass, I really, really like it. Um, it was a little bit off on the director, um, the little blue dot to show basically which direction you're pointing in. It was slightly off, but not overly. So it's a bit of an improvement on the last one, especially for me. Um, not to mention the battery life, no fears there, none at all. Um, that's just done really, really, really incredibly well. So that's a 6,000 meter round trip um, with some wind. Do you know what I mean? It's not totally calm, it's, you know, with some wind. And it's done on 60% battery, which is brilliant. And again, you know, we flew that six, uh, 3,000 kilometers, uh, sorry, 3,000 meters. And uh, yeah, obviously we got a little bit of a signal dropout, but we was coming into a sort of an area and uh, just raised up height a little bit and it came back. So basically, no matter what you've seen elsewhere, um, it looks to me that a lot of the issues that were potentially on the previous firmware version um, have now all gone. And this firmware version, version 1.2.0, if you want to be technical, is absolutely fine. So yeah, go out, install it, enjoy flying your drone, having caught with no issues. Um, so yeah, have fun. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos. It's really appreciated and see you again soon.